on our choir CD. Again, I want to welcome everyone here to the Israel of God on the Lord's Sabbath day. If it's your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome. I like to say welcome home. Yes, sir. In Jesus' name. The title of today's lesson, sisters and brothers, is the tools of the Godhead. The tools of the Godhead. And this lesson was born because everybody thinks one, 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 and the Lord thy God is one. That's true. That is absolutely true, and we can read that. But he's got a plan. And Jesus the Christ is the CEO of man. His whole project is the recovery of man. Hence the word salvage, where you get the word salvation from. Redeemed. That is to recover that which has been lost. Did y'all not know that the Garden of Eden was man's? Y'all remember the movie Training Day? Talk to me. Yeah. Training Day, the Garden of Eden was man's training day, and we blew the mission. The first day, we blew the mission. On the sixth day, when man was created, on our first day in the Garden of Eden, we blew the mission. So that was plan A. The father and the son took sweet counsel together, and they said, let us, let us, let us make man in our image after our likeness. And let them have dominion. So we got it backwards. Man was created to become God. Brother Julius, where you get that from? I can read it to you. But we got it backwards. We go to our homeboys and we say, what's up, dog? Mm -hmm. Which is God backwards, right? So we got it twisted. We blew the mission on the first day. So plan B went into effect. Uh, one of us got to go down and get his man the plan of salvation and recover him. So the one that became the Christ stepped out of eternity and stepped into time. Stepped into time. You see, God is not a man. Come on, Julius. So therefore, because man sinned, he had to go and recover the very thing that he created. Once you understand, sisters and brothers, what God did for us and the power of Jesus and what he did, you will have a greater appreciation of his Sabbath day. Yes, sir. Gave you six days to do whatever you want to do. And all he asked you to do is to honor and reverence his Sabbath day. In other words, don't do your thing. Don't have your conversations. Don't even light up a cigarette. We couldn't do that. The Lord said, if you keep my Sabbath and reverence, I'll let you stay in your land. Remember, America, we're just uh, forced guests here. But the Lord put us in the, blessed, the best place in the world. You could go to bed, sleep at night. You ain't got to worry about no bombs exploding, no suicide bombers coming in. You can get up and go to your job in your nice car. You can retire with a nice pension. Other places in the world, we can't do that. We're being persecuted. But over here, we are our own worst enemies. Ain't nobody coming in your neighborhood drive-by shooting you. You killing yourself. Unreal. How have we degenerated? You know what? I got to get, yeah, sometimes I get emotional, sisters and brothers, but there's a right emotion. Because what we did made God cry. And we got so bad that we chased them right on back to heaven. He said, I'm going to return to my place, and in your affliction, you're going to seek me early. Mm -hmm. We messed up. And I'm going to start this lesson out by telling each and every last one of you, including my beginning with me, whatever alt you got against your brother or your sister, it is time to fix it. Nothing wrong with going to somebody and saying, Mama, Daddy, friend, uh, look at your neighbor. I'm sorry for if I offended you. Pull them to the side. Nobody else got to know. It is time to practice what thus said the Lord. The kingdom of God is not drinks, it's not meats, it is righteousness. He just got an order of things. You're not going to get into the kingdom of God with a nasty attitude. But 
in order for you to understand God and who he is, you have to have to understand the definition of God. So I did it for you. The definition of God is come from the Hebrew word Elohim, which means family. One, yet more than one. When a man or a woman is single, it is just you, right? But when you marry your spouse, you just form the family. How do I know? Because the Bible says, Adam says, she shall, this is bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. She shall be called what? Woman. But then he gave her a name. What was her name? Eve. Eve. And he said, he called their name Eve. So I got something for you women. If you don't want to take on your husband's name, you don't, uh, because the people on my job, they got mad at me. I'm not taking on my husband's name. When I get married, I'm going to keep my own name. I ain't taking on no man's name. I say, you named after your daddy? <laughs> Everybody in the creation is named after a man. He called their name Adam. Who do you think you are? I said, if you listen, your teacher. Are you bragging? Well, you didn't say nothing where Paul boasted. Dre, I got, I got to get it. Bend your Bible to Genesis chapter 1. Genesis chapter 1. I like to have my fun. Serious business, sisters and brothers, but break out your pen and your paper, and most importantly, your Bible. You're going to learn something here today. You're going to learn. Israel of God is not growing by leaps and bounds for nothing. We got people that flew in from Australia last month just to be baptized. Praise God. And you can't even come out on a Sabbath day from your house. But if you won the lottery or you won the mega millions, you'll go to all the way to Russia to get your money. You got to feel that way about, um, real talk, you got to feel that way about your salvation. Do you, have you ever thought about living forever? Have you ever thought about burning forever, forever, ever, forever, ever? Remember, the Lord is not the God of the dead. He's the God of the living. Mm -hmm. So he you, the worst thing that ever happened to you and you don't know who Jesus, get to know who he is and accept him of what he did and change your ways and bring your values up to his standards, not him coming down to your standards. Learn his standards, he going to uncreate you. Mm. Remember, eyes going to fall back in your head, tongue going to dissolve in your mouth. He going to uncreate you. That's scary. Stevie O, let's go. Genesis chapter 1. Genesis chapter 1, and begin reading at verse 1. And I got the numbers 2s up here five times because it's a title. I'm going to show you something here, sisters and brothers, through the word of God. Come on, Stevie. In the beginning, Just give me verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Now, when was the beginning? We don't know. Somebody tell me when was the beginning. The book don't say. So why are you looking for it? Evolutionists and all these people, well, the earth is so many years, billion years old. You don't know. You weren't there, and neither were they. Why don't you just say, believe what your eyes read? In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. The heaven and the earth. I want you to underline heaven. How many heaven? Right there. One. And how many earth? One. Okay. All right. Skip down to verse 3 and continue, my brother. And God said, let there be light. Yes. And there was light. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. Come on, Stevio. And God saw the light, that it was good. Yes. And God divided the light from the darkness. Yes. And God called the light day. Yes. And the darkness he called night. Now, the whole world operates off a day and night system. Amen? Yes, sir. So, do we need to learn Hebrew to understand this? We don't need to learn Hebrew to understand this. Why? Because if you ask the German in his language, he's going to recognize the word day. If he asks the French in his language, he's going to recognize the word night. He created the nations. He created the languages. He created the alphabets. Stop telling me that the J didn't exist until after the transatlantic slave trade. Why don't you go and look at the ancient Phoenicians and look how they wrote the word J. The Lord is the one that created the alphabets and the nations. The biggest language in the world is English. He know what his name is. Better recognize. Recognize. Come on, Steve. In the five. Yeah. In the evening and the morning were the first day. No, 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 no. You read that wrong. And midnight 
and the morning. That's not what the book say. What the book say? In the evening and the morning were the first day. See, the Lord said, my ways are not like your ways and my thoughts are not like your thoughts. Man starts a new day in the middle of a night where you cannot see a new day or a new night start. The Lord starts this new day every day at sundown. Jerusalem time. Jesus told you, I'm not there 12 hours in the day. It is 24 hours in a day. Teach Jerusalem. Come on, Stevie, you're learning something. I give you a lot of tools, sisters and brothers. Tools unlock doors. You can go out and evangelize. Make people. They always tell me, why y'all go to church on Saturday? Why you go on Sunday? <laughs> Have you ever looked up the word Sunday? I ain't picking on nobody. But this is my salvation. I want to get it right. Come on, Stevie, what six, verse? Six. Read it. And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters. And now, first of all, the Lord told you in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. Now, he's creating a firmament. Well, we're going to see what this firmament is called. So we got us one heaven already. But now we got us a firmament. Come on, Stevie. -O. End of six. Yeah. And let it divide the waters from the waters. Come on, Stevie. And God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament uh -huh. from the waters which were above the firmament. So whatever this firmament is, it has waters below it and it has waters above it. But we already got us a heaven called God dwell in heaven. Amen. Mm -hmm. Come on, Stevie. And it was so. Yes. And God called the firmament heaven. Yes. In the evening and the morning with mm -hmm. the second day. Now, who's doing the talking here? It says God, right? And the evening, notice you don't see Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday in the Bible. You see first day through sixth day and the seventh day he called the Sabbath day. So that means if the seventh day is the Sabbath day, any day you rest cannot be your Sabbath day. Because on the seventh day, you're supposed to rest. Come on, Stevie. Skip the 30. Skip the, uh, read verse 8. I want, I'm going somewhere with this. Verse 8. And God called the firmament heaven. And God called what? The firmament heaven. And God called the firmament heaven. So now we got us a second heaven. And God called, I, I didn't write it. You didn't write it. We didn't write it. God called the firmament Heaven, come on, Stevie. And the evening and the morning were the second day. Notice evening and morning, evening and morning. That's why your calendar starts with Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, the first day, but now they're switching it. Now you go to work on a Monday, and the first thing you, somebody asks you is, how was your weekend? Well, my weekend is Saturday at sundown. Remember, my ways is not like your ways. My thoughts are not like your thoughts. On the way to learning something. I don't want my crew to answer this. I want y'all to answer this. What is the 10th month of the year? Talk to me, y'all. October. How do you spell October? Stop. O-C-T. An octopus has how many legs? But how do you spell octopus? Hmm. An octagon is a stop sign. How many sides do it have? Do op mean 10 or do it mean 8? Woo, we just learned something. Nove means 9. You got a month that starts with D-E-C. They call it the 12th month, but it's not the 12th month. It is the 10th month. How do I know? Because it starts with D-E-C. There are 10 years in a decade, D-E-C. You had math in school. You had decimals. You rounded everything to the nearest 10th. Teach Julius. My ways is not like your ways. We've been bamboozled. You don't believe me? You got your, you got your phones? Google it. Hmm. <laughs> Where you think you get the word cereal from? We got a building in downtown Chicago called the Mercantile Exchange. On the top of that building, there's a woman, a Roman woman, with a grain of wheat in her hand. She's called Ceres. Where you get the word cereal from? From the Roman goddess of grain. Your Cheerios and your oatmeal and all your fiber is made out of, and your bread is made out of grain. My people are destroyed for what? Lack of knowledge. Talk to me. Lack of what? Knowledge. Knowledge. The word, word of knowledge is to know. Israel of God is growing. It is time. And the, well, Brother Julius, how you know all this? Because in the last days, the Lord told you, I'm going to pour out my spirit upon my sons and my daughters, and they shall prophesy. We are not prophets. The prophets were from Moses to John. From Moses to John. Everybody that came after them, even Jesus quoted himself in them. Person on my job. I'm a, I'm a prophet. 
I am a prophet, and you can't tell me no different. I said, I can't, but the Lord can. The book says that the prophets were from Moses to John, sisters and brothers. I am a prophet. Oh, you are, huh, brother? Do me a favor. Hold this. No, don't be so serious. Hold this. <laughs> Hold this. Now, you say you're a prophet? Which book did you write? <laughs> Bam! The best you could do is prophesy. Remember on the day of Pentecost, Peter told the, the people, this is that which is written by the prophet Joel. And on my sons and on my daughters. So the Lord, the best you could do is prophesy. Oh, I, I don't care what you say. I am a prophet. Okay. All right. If you want to be, y'all help me out. Jesus told you in Matthew 24 and Luke 21 that take heed that no man what? For many what? Many false what? Oh, maybe you are a prophet. I didn't, I didn't say it. I'll let y'all see it. Man. Genesis chapter 2. I got one verse here. You want me I want to show 31? you something. Pardon me? You want me to do 31? Yeah, let's do 31. Because they talking about some uh, God made a, a messed up earth. No, he did not. I'm going to show you why. 31. Genesis 1 and 31. Come on. And God saw everything that he had made. Uh, yes. And behold. Yes. It was very good. It was what? Very good. It was very good. The earth was not created for or without void. It became that way. The Lord made everything very good. And just like right now, everything has become very bad. You are passing laws that are designed to break God's laws. Two men can't make a baby. Two women can't make a baby. Passing laws. Whole nation is going to be marijuana crazy. Already opioid crazy. Prescription crazy. So, it, so times are getting worse and worse, and they're telling you peace on earth and goodwill toward men. That's true, but that's in the son's kingdom. Genesis chapter 2. Genesis chapter 2, verse 1. Genesis 2. Remember, Genesis 1 and 1. In the beginning, God created the what? Heaven. Heaven and earth. One heaven, one earth. Genesis chapter 2, not just one verse 1, Stevie, read it. Thus the heavens. Thus the what? Heavens. Thus the heavens. I've been going to church all my life, all my life, and I had not known that. Then when I was 12 years old, I told my mother, I don't want to go to your church no more. She said, why not? Because I ain't learning nothing. The preacher is preaching. I saw the Lord. He heard my cry. And Isaiah said this, and he all over the book. I don't even know what he's saying. I don't even know what the subject matter is. That's why we teach the book by subject and title. Come on, read it again, verse 1. Thus the heavens, Thus the heavens and the earth were finished. And the earth was finished. And all the host of them. And all the host thereof. St. John. St. John the first. So now we, we just found out that we got us more than one heaven, don't we? On your own. And if we get a chance, if we bypass it, I'll show you there's more than two heavens. Genesis chapter 1, and begin reading that verse 1. Genesis 1 and 1. Come on. I'm sorry. St. John 1 and 1. St. John 1 and 1. Go ahead, Stevie. In the beginning was the word. When was the beginning? Remember, the Bible backs up the Bible. In the beginning was the what? Was the word. That's one. Go ahead. And the word was with God. And the word was with God. And the word was God. And the word was God. So now, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Now we're saying we got us another God here. Come on, Stevie. The same was in the beginning with God. When you see the word with, that means that something else is added on to it. So now, continue to read, Stevie. Verse 3. Yeah. All things were made by him. Uh-huh. And without him was not uh -huh. anything made that was made. Without him was not anything made that was made. Sisters and brothers, FaceTime ain't new. The Lord talked to Moses how? Face to face. Ooh. Some of, some of you get in a minute. FaceTime is not new. The Lord talked to Moses face to face. Man, just come up on it and all of a sudden, we got something new. No, 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 no. There's nothing new under the sun. It might be modernized, but there's nothing new under the sun. Come over. What verse, Stevie? Uh, that was end of three. You want me to skip to skip ten? Skip to ten, and let's read it. He was in the world. He was in the world. And the world was made by him. The world. Notice we got us a count. In the beginning was the world, and the word was with God. That's two. And then the word was God, because the word means the spokesman for the Father. 
Come on, Stevie. End of 10. Yeah. And the world knew him not. Right. He came unto his own, uh -huh. and his own received him not. Jesus came to the Jews because he was a Jew of the tribe of Judah. Jerusalem was the headquarters of the Jews. That's why I agree with President Trump. Jerusalem is the headquarters of the Jews. And people don't like it, but you can't change truth. Why do you think they fighting in the Middle East since before you and I was born? The oldest son of uh, 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 this oldest son of uh, 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 Abraham, Ishmael, and oldest son of Isaac, Esau. The so-called Jews. The book calls them Edomites. Jacob had, Jacob had a twin brother. Changed his name from Jacob to Israel. Where is his brother Esau today? In your land calling himself Israeli, we call it identity theft. Told you ain't nothing new. Read, Stevie. 12. Yeah. But as many as received him, yes, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. To many that received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. What kind of power did he give? The same power that you're hearing right now. The hearing and understanding of the word of God. If you love me, do what? Keep my commandments. Uh, good master, what must I do to inherit eternal life? He said, keep the commandments. Want to live? Keep the commandments. Want peace in your house? Keep the commandments. Want peace in your marriage? Don't cheat. Keep the commandments. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Keep the commandments. Children, if you want to live to be old, what the book say? Obey your mother and your father. Keep the commandments. Everything, let me say it, everything in the world right now has always been and is now governed by Ten Commandments. How do I know? Because the dietary law is in the Ten Commandments. What's the first commandment? Help me, y'all. Thou shalt have no other. But then somebody going to come. Who's the God of this world? Satan the devil. But they're going to tell you, you tell them, I can't eat the pork. And they God going to tell you just what? Pray, Pray over it. You just violated the first commandment. Told you everything is governed by the Ten Commandments. You just got to see it. It's there. Stevie? In the 12. Yes. Even to them that believe on his name. Yes. Which were born not of blood, nor of the will of flesh, uh -huh. nor of the will of man. Did y'all see that God. woman that was healed of her, her issue of blood for, for 12 years? She was healed. She said, if I could just touch the what? Him of his garment. See, Jesus wore fringes back then because he was still up under the law until he came and broke that thing. But no more fringes. You transfer the fringes from your waist to your mind because the fringes represent the keeping of the law, reminding you to keep the law. Okay, this fringe is for this law. This fringe is for this law. The Lord said, I'm going to do a new thing. I'm going to put my law in your inward parts. I'm going to teach you in your mind. Sisters and brothers, the mind is a terrible thing to waste. That's why he gave everybody two legs to carry that head around. Inside that head is that brain, that processing center. Activate your faith. Understand what the Lord is doing. He's doing a thing. He's creating a whole planet of God. One word that covers, that will cover everybody. One word. Man. Man. One word that covers every man, woman, and child. Remember, the species is man. The gender is male and female. That's why she is called one man. But she's still man. They just call it mankind. Stevie. Four, oh, yeah. 14. Come on. And the word was made flesh. And the word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. And dwelt among us. And we beheld. God came down, stepped out of eternity, stepped into time, and came and lived among his creation. Read, Stevie. Middle of 14. Yeah. And, and we beheld his glory. Yeah. The glory is of the only begotten of the Father. Yes. Full of grace and truth. Notice. Notice. Begotten. In order, in order to beget, you got to have a child. So he was begotten. But they no angel laid with no woman because flesh and blood does not procreate with spirit being. That's why you ain't, where they get this baby Cupid from? Ain't no such thing as a baby angel. I've never read a female angel. I've never read that. Come on, Stevie. 15. Yeah. John bare witness of him and cried, saying, yes. This was he of whom I spake. Yes. He that cometh after me is preferred before me. Yes, sir. For he was before me. He was before me because in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. God don't have no mother, no father, but in the flesh he did. 
You understand? That's why the book says Mary as supposed and Joseph as supposed to be his father. Come on, Stevie. What verse? Uh, skip down. To skip 18. down to eighteen and let's go. No man has seen God at any time. Wait a minute. No man has seen God at any time. But which one? Remember, and God said, let us create man in our image. Come on, Stevie. The no. only begotten son, yes. which is in the bosom of the father, yes. he hath declared him. When he say in the bosom of the father, that means that he's just like his father had the same because the Lord our God is one. They are two in the Godhead, but they are one in agreement. That's why 1 John 5 and 7 says that there are three that bear record in heaven. But it don't say, it don't say God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. It says the Father and the Son. Told you we're going to do this account here. The Holy Spirit is a whole nother lesson. Man, back, back up to verse 13 and read it for me. Back up to verse 13 and read it, Stevio. Which were born, uh -huh. not of blood, not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, yes, but of God. But of God. He came from his father. The father is God, the son is God. Hence, we have two gods, but they have one mind. There's one true God, but there are two in the Godhead, Father and Son. Then he said, let us make man in our, when you see the word uh, us and our, don't y'all remember them old ABC uh, teaching commercials? Conjunction, junction, what's your function? Y'all remember that? Those are conjunctions that join things together. Wow. St. John the third chapter, my brother. St. John 3. St. John 3, remember the twos of the God here. We still dealing with two gods. Show you this. St. John 3, and we're going to go for, from 1, 2, 3. Go ahead. St. John 3 and verse 1. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus. Yes. A ruler of the Jews. See, the Pharisees were the ruler of the Jews. You had the Pharisees. You had the Sadducees. You had the Herodians. You had the Essenists. All these people were religious bodies, or what you call denominations. Come on, Stevie. Two. The same came to Jesus by night yeah. and said unto him, yes. Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. We know that you are a teacher come from God. Why, Stevie? For no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. Wow. What did Jesus say to him? Jesus answered and said unto him, uh -huh. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, yes. except a man be born again, yes. he cannot see the kingdom of God. See, the world don't know what born again, meant, born again means. The definition of born is to be brought forth of the womb, sisters and brothers. So we've been come out of our mother's womb. Adam came from the dust of the ground, and then Eve came from his rib, and after that, every man came out of a woman. He was born. But you have to be born again. So now, the definition of born again is not a flesh and blood birth. It is a spiritual birth, not just a change in the mind. It's a change in the mind and the body. Why do you think he's he telling you, let this mind, let this mind, renew your mind. Paul said, renew your mind. Jesus said, let this mind be in you. You got to be born of the spirit. You got to develop that and graduate your flesh and blood mind to a spirit mind. You got to start thinking God. Teach you is. Real talk. You got to start thinking God. That's why, the, that's why he said man don't see as God sees. But then now when you're on the same page as God, Ezekiel, he saw, he showed Ezekiel in the spirit. What Israel did, what the elders of Israel did in the dark. Projected his mind, projected John's mind so that John could see in the future. So now you can see what's going on. That's why we understand what's going on with the European Union. We understand this uh, epidemic that's going around, flu and all this stuff. We understand all this stuff. We understand the ten nations of the European Union because God has showed it to us. It don't mean nothing to the rest of the secular world. But it means something to us. That's why we waiting on that third temple to be built. I already told my people on my job. When they build that third temple and get done with it and start animal sacrifice, keep your pension. I'm looking for the wilderness. <laughs> you can have all that. Somebody going to ask me, hey, Brother Julius, is going to be a dollar menu in the wilderness? <laughs> Stop laughing at me. I see you over there laughing. Look at it. A dollar menu in the wilderness. Boy, I tell you. That's why the Lord said, that which comes into your mind shall not be. <laughs> Stevie, where we at? Uh, we finished three. You want me to skip Let's down to Let's skip 11? down to verse 11 and continue. Right. Told you I like having fun, but it's real talk. 
Come on, man. <laughs> Verse 11. Verily, verily, I say unto thee. Truly, I truly, I look what now he finna break it down to him. Go ahead. We speak that we do know. We speak that which we do know. We do. And testify that we have seen. Yes. And we receive not our witness. If I have told you earthly things uh -huh. and ye believe not, right? how shall ye believe if I tell you of heavenly things? Listen, if I tell you about earthly things, things that you can see, things that you can smell, things that you can taste, and you don't understand, how shall I speak of you on spiritual things and you don't understand? But I want to put Jesus on the witness stand right here and right now because everybody thinks that when you die, you go to heaven if you're good. And no matter how bad you are, they still put you in heaven. Jesus, has anybody ever went to heaven? Read it. 13. Yes. And no man. And no man. Hath ascended up to heaven. Uh-huh. But he that came down See, from heaven. you can go into the second heaven. But the heaven of heaven, which is the third heaven, you can't see or go to. Because flesh and blood cannot enter or see the kingdom of God. But you're on the first two heavens. Because the earth is the first heaven. Because I'm going to gather my people from one end of the earth to the other. In another scripture, it said the same thing. I'm going to gather my saints from one end of the heaven to the other. From one end of the earth to the other. Because the earth is the first heaven. So if I want to go into the second heaven, I go outside and I jump up in the air. I'm there for a second. I come right back down. But I just entered the second heaven. The second heaven begins when you jump up anything that is above the ground. You have entered into the second heaven. Don't the book tell you that the fowls of the air fly into heaven? But people think fowls are just birds. On your own, Revelation, uh, 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 Leviticus chapter 11, a fowl is anything that flies. A bat is a fowl, but he don't have feathers. A mosquito is a fowl. He have four legs, but he have wings, but he don't have feathers. Because he said all other flying, creeping fowl. Learning something on the way you're learning something. I got to finish this lesson. I got to get you out of here. What verse was that, Stevie? Uh, end of 13. Finish it up. Even the Son of Man, yes. which is in heaven. Nobody that went to heaven except the Son of Man, which came down from heaven. And then he did his job for 33 and a half years and ascended back into heaven. Even Satan can't get back to heaven. The book says his place was found no more in heaven. So the earth is his prison. Where you been, Satan? Been walking to Jesus. and fro in the earth and going up and down in it. Yes, sir. In other words, north, south, east, and west. That's why the Bible tells you that the, that the devil, as a roaring lion, walking about seeking whom he may destroy, because he is in prison here. That's what the book means by he came and ministered those angels that was in prison in, in the earth. In the days of Noah, while the ark was building, sisters and brothers, because he cannot go back to heaven. So all the hell is happening where? On yeah. the earth. Fly by shooting, rape, killing, murders, all this kind of stuff. Stealing, robbery. Heaven is straight. That's why the Lord said, rejoice, you heavens. Whoa. Because all the hell is down here on earth. Yes. War in heaven led to hell on earth. Whoa! Unto the inhabitants of the earth. For Satan has come down, seeking whom he may devour. You can't see him, but you see him in people. Because your battle is not against flesh and blood. No, it's sir. against spiritual wickedness in high places. Teach you this. These people are driven by evil spirits. That's why you say, even you, just like an animal, you say they got a wild spirit. Or you see a, a wild boy or a wild girl, they wild. But they are driven by evil spirits. They are possessed with demons, sisters and brothers. That's why the man was crying out and, 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 and ran and met Jesus on the other side. He was crying out because he was possessed. The word possessed means taken over. So he was possessed. But the man in him was crying out. But the demon had a hold on him. That's why people cut themselves. That's why they commit suicide, because they feel like they have nothing to live for. But my job as a minister and a watchman is to say, wait a minute, you can't kill yourself. You are bought with the precious blood of Jesus. He own you. You don't own yourself. You are bought with a price. Teach you this. All this suicide and depression, evil spirits that's leading people to think that they have nothing to live for and they are self-worthless. Uh-uh. We supposed to inspire life. We're supposed to in, inject the word of God. It, it ain't about who got the best 
class. Who, who what Israel like got the best, best class? It is about doing our job. Next week's episode on the bomb of Gilead, y'all heard the term man up? It's going to be preached up. We got to do our job. Stevie, where we at? Uh, we finished that. Let's go to Exodus, the 24th chapter. Remember, no man has seen God at any time. Is the Bible, does the, are there any contradictions in the Bible? No, no. The only things you have not read, heard, nor understood or been taught. God is not the author of confusion. Man is. Exodus 24, Stevio, when you get it, give me just verse 1 and we'll skip. Exodus 24 and 1. Let's go. And he said unto Moses, yes. come up unto the Lord, yes. thou and Aaron yes. and Nadab and Abihu and 70 of the elders of Israel, and worship ye afar off. And worship ye afar off. Four people plus 70 is 74. Skip down to verse 9, my brother, and let's go. Then went up Moses and Aaron and Nadab and Abihu yes. and 70 of the elders of Israel. And what happened, my brother? And they saw the God of Israel. Wait a minute. We just read that no man has seen God any time, but yet the Bible tell you that 74 elders saw the God of Israel. Is that an oxymoron? Is that a, uh, a, a lie? No, it is impossible for God to lie. It's just your understanding has not been opened. Now it's time to come into the day dawn and the day star. That is the understanding of the word of God through Jesus Christ. Mm. And they saw who? And they saw God of Israel. And they saw the God of Israel. And they saw the God of Israel. Continue, Stevie. And there was under his feet, as it were, a paved work of oh, a sapphire stone. Oh, they saw stone. his feet? They saw his feet? Remember, Jesus had not yet been manifested in the flesh. This is who they saw. From Genesis to Revelation, you have always, always, always dealt with the son. He is the CEO of man. Teach his you. job is to recover this man. The father don't get off the throne. He sent his son to do that. Yes, sir. Father is pure. Holy. The word holy is unblemished, untouched. He sent the son to do that. Remember, you can't kill God. So he had to come... It is written in the volume of the book, it is written of me. A body has thou prepared me. Can't kill God. He said, I gave my back to the smiters. I got power to lay my life down. I got the power to pick it up again. Mm. You ain't never dealt with the father. You've always dealt with the son. His job is to recover man. The CEO of man is Jesus, the Christ. What verse, Stevie? Uh, end of 10. Come on. And as it were, the body of heaven yes. has clearness. Yes, yes. And, and upon the nobles of the children of Israel, he uh -huh. laid not his hand. Yes. Also, they saw God. They, again, did, they saw the God of Israel. And go did ahead. eat and drink. And did eat and drink. Go ahead, Stevie. And the Lord said unto Moses, come up to me into the mount and be there. Uh -huh. And I will give thee tables of stone yes. and a law and commandments which I have written that thou mayest teach them. If you love me, do what? Keep my commandments. Keep my, keep my commandments, which I received of the Father. Two gods. We, we work with two gods here. Philippians 2. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Y'all remember that show in Living Color? Y'all remember that show in Living Color? Y'all remember Fire Marshal Bill? <laughs> What, what was his favorite words? Let me tell you something. He's like this all the time. I think I'm scaring the baby. I'm sorry, baby. You need this too. Philippians chapter 2. When you got, when you got to say, I got it. Man, that thing really do work, don't it? Let's, let's try something else. L look at your neighbor. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't. Okay. Bad boy, bad boy. Philippians chapter 2. Philippians chapter 2 and pick it up at verse 5. Let Philippians this, 2 and 5. Go ahead, my brother. All right. Let this mind be in you. Pay attention to what you're about to read. Pay really close attention to what you're reading. Let this mind be in you. Go ahead and read. Which was also in Christ Jesus. Which was also in Christ Jesus. Come on, we got one. Christ Jesus, go ahead. Who, being in the form of God. Oh, being in the form of God. He uh, was in the form of his father. How do I know? He going to use a one big old word that you use in math all the time. Who what, Stevie? Thought it not robbery to, to be, be equal with equal. God. Equal. Equal. 
He was equal with the Father. That's why he told you in Genesis 1, let us create man in our image. Angels are not created in the image of God. Amen. To my Jehovah Witnesses, brothers and sisters, Jesus is not Michael. The book said being made so much better than the angels. Fix that just like that. He thought it not robbery, Stevie O, to be equal with his father. It's just that he stepped down out of eternal. The book said him being rich, he became poor for our sake. Stevie O, read. Seven. Yeah. But made himself of no reputation. Yes. And took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. See, he came down to serve, not to be served. Remember how he washed their feet? He came down to serve. In other words, he showed us that if I can serve you, how can you can't soften your stony heart and serve and love one another? Please listen to that. Please get rid of the stony heart. That's the mind. The heart is a blood pump. The book says, so as a man thinketh, so is he. Everything you do, you have to think about it first. I think I'll get some gas. I think I'll go grocery shopping. I think I'll call off today. Everything you do, you think about it first, sisters and brothers. Let this mind, change your mind. The whole theme of us being on this flesh and blood body is to have a change of mind. Then, if you got the mind of God, now you have the spirit of God in you. <laughs> and if you got the spirit of God in you, even when you die, he's going to resurrect you and he's going to bring a spirit body give you a spirit body to match the spirit mind. That's why we're going to be changed in a moment in the twinkle of an eye at, at what? Last, the last trumpet. At the seventh trumpet. Seven trumpets got the sound before the Lord come back. How come people ain't read that? Well, Jesus could come back anytime. Yeah, for you and me. But he himself coming? No, -uh. too much prophecy still got to happen. He, seven trumpets got the sound before the Lord get off the thrones, sisters and brothers. That's why the Lord tell you that he that endured it to what? In the end. The same shall be, shall be. Shall is a surety. Shall be saved. That means that you're not already saved. And if you're already saved, when the last time you asked for forgiveness? Well, last night. No, 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 no. First John, what, second or third chapter says that those who are born of God or born again cannot sin. Mm. For his seed remaineth in him. We flesh. We dust. We come out of the ground. How do I know? Because when I take a shower, I got to wash the dirt off of you, off myself. When I want to take a bath, I'm bathing in my own dirt. Everything you eat come out the ground. Well, you get them, them silver and them gold and, and that bronze earrings you got, that nice necklace you got, metal that came from the ground, your vitamins, vitamin D, uh, vitamin C, vitamin A, zinc, copper, iron from the ground. From plants and trees that come to the ground. Your clothes, cotton that grow on a plant, come out the ground. Your car, all of it come out the ground. The tires from the rubber tree. The oil from the ground. Now I see why so much oil in the earth. Dead dinosaur and plants. When that, what you cooked your chicken in last night? Vegetable oil. You got oil already in you. You oily thing, you. We got oil already in us. Think about it. You got oil. You Vaseline. Oil from the ground. Oil. Processed oil. We got it already in us. Why do you think you're going to burn forever? Because you're going to have oil in you. I didn't write it. I just read the book and it just makes sense to me. Is that Joe Israel? I don't think he made the trip. Okay. <laughs> Verse 8. Verse 8, come on, man. I'm having fun. Go ahead. And being found in fashion as a man, yes. he humbled himself. So he was man, but full of the, full, but full of the spirit. Mm -hmm. That's why the church is named us the church of God in Christ. The spirit of God in Christ. See? He did a thing here. Come on, Stevie O. And became obedient unto death. And became obedient unto death. Even the death of the cross. He didn't say where the cross. He said to the death of the cross. People think the cross is something holy. Uh-uh-uh. Romans set that up. Romans set that up. How did the Jews kill people? How did the Jews kill people? They would stone you to death. Execution. 
How did the Assyrians kill people? They will stake you up front, up the rear, skin up to your mouth, and then they will skin you alive. Skin you alive, yeah. Form of death. How did the Romans kill people? By crucifixions. Yes, they sir. set up the cross. Have y'all noticed them old King Arthur pictures? The knights with the cross? <laughs> wow. I got I to gotta tell them, Stevie. Tell them. People don't understand everything came from Rome. All roads lead back to Rome. Red Cross. It's got the Red Cross, Catholic Charities. WIC program, Women, Infant, and Children. Red Cross, Catholic Charities. Boy Scouts, Catholic Charities. Girl Scouts, Catholic. YMCA, Catholic. YWCA, Catholics. And nobody pays attention. Rome runs the world. Is this the beast that have made all nations drink of a fornication? Anybody Catholic in here? Anybody come out to Catholic Church? Anybody ever, been, anybody ever been to a Catholic Mass? What color was the cup? Revelation 17. The golden cup. Bishops were purple, cardinals were red. The Lord giving you the colors of the Catholic Church. Paul in Romans, Romans the 11th chapter warns the Gentiles, the Romans, the Romans, the Romans, you Gentiles are wild olive trees that just grafted into a good olive tree. Don't try to take this thing over. All of a sudden, Rome came. The fourth world empire. Now she's back in her 10th resurrection. She's calling herself the European Union. Catholic nations. Catholic nations. Protestant, you're still Catholic. Seventh-day Adventist, Catholic, Quakers, Baptist. What is the Baptist? What is the, what is the Baptist? When you, somebody that works on the pipes under your sink is called a what? Y'all talk to me. A plumber. That's the job and a career, right? And the person that works on the wires in your wall is a what? That's a job and a career, right? And the person that works on your car is a what? A job and a career. What was John doing in the Jordan River? Baptizing. John the? Baptist. It was a job, not a religion. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Teach, Julius. If you're going to profess something, study and see where it came from. It is possible that you could worship the Lord all your life and be wrong. Why? Because Jesus said it, in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men and making the word of God of none effect. Sunday, Rome. Easter, Rome. Christmas, Rome. Ooh, we. Oh, oh, Mardi Gras, Rome. That's why they raise all the hills, show all the breasts, wear all the beads. Do all the sinning, and then you get your 40 days of penance, or what you call Lent. Well, who do you think you are? Seven years. I studied everybody's religion. If my salvation is on the line, I need to get it right. Especially to stand before people. I don't want your blood on my hand. I don't want my blood on my hands. The Lord said, come out of the world. Come out of the world. That means that come out of the ways of the world, sisters and brothers. I didn't write it. I can't go to my family reunion until the sun go down on the Sabbath day. I'm not antisocial. I'm pro me and I'm pro God. Stevie, I'm lost. Verse 9. Come on. Wherefore God also have highly exalted him. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. God is finna exalt God. Watch this, y'all. Go ahead. And giving him a name which uh -huh. is above every name. Which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus. No, no, no. At the name of Yeshua. Jesus. At the name of Yah. Jesus. Yahqua. Jesus. Yehoshua. Jesus. Yehoshua. Jesus. Every knee should bow uh -huh. of things in heaven uh -huh. and things in earth. Because, go ahead. And things under the earth. Everything. I work in a hospital, an international hospital in Chicago. I ask all the foreign patients, how do you say the name Jesus? And they tell me, Isis or Jesus. In Spanish, it's Jesus. But it all sounds the name. They all recognize the name. Well, tell me about Yahweh. Who is that? Right. And then I think about Malachi 1. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. My name. 
shall be great among the Gentiles. Teach Gentiles run the world, sisters and brothers. Yes, Ever since Nebuchadnezzar, Gentiles run the world. And they're going to run it because the Lord said, Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Nebuchadnezzar captured Jerusalem. Medo-Persian, Darius and Cyrus captured Jerusalem. Alexander the Great conquered Jerusalem. And now 